We begin this half hour with the rising cases of obesity across our country. The numbers up nearly 10% on the past two decades. But here in Utah, nearly 30% of adults were considered obese in 2020. It's a serious crisis, often bringing about other life-threatening conditions from heart disease to diabetes. While outside risk factors like genetics and illness play a role, there are things that people can do to pursue a healthy lifestyle. In this Your Life, Your Health segment, we'll explore how eating healthy and staying active can dramatically change your life. Now, when it comes to shedding pounds, it's not just about the patient. It usually is a family affair. It certainly was for a West Jordan couple. Doing hard things is always easier with someone else. It's just what we love to do together as a family. Most weekends, Ann Gleave and her husband, Russell, are at the BMX track. Go Levi! Come on, Levi! Cheering on the grandkids. Pedal, pedal! But now they're cheering on someone new. Pedal, pedal, pedal! The wheels were set into motion two years ago when Russell got cancer and then, just after being declared cancer-free, had heart trouble and then angioplasty. Yeah, 2021 was the year that tried to kill him. That's what he says. <laughs> He enrolled, and Anne insisted she enrolled too, in the Way to Health Nutrition Program, group and one-on-one -on -one instruction. Behavior, goal setting. Intermountain Healthcare nutritionist Carly Adams says it's not just about what's missing. Lots of candy, lots of chips. I completely cleaned out the pantry and put healthy stuff in there. A lot of people equate health to thinness, and that is one of the things that we try to dispel. You can be healthy at any size. Menu planning, recipe makeover ideas, that's something that I did a lot. We just want to continue to work on those healthy habits. It's about what is there. Appetizers like raw vegetables. Like emotional support. It is really important for people to find their support system. I'm part of the reason that he became 370 pounds, you know, and I wanted to be part of the solution that he lived to see 70 or 80. And physical activity. Exercises outside of the gym. So now Russell walks. Pedal. And at the track, cheers on. There she is, right in the middle. That new competitor. His wife. Go, Grandma. Who at age 58, after years of inactivity, got off the couch. I am at the BMX track every week. And on a bike. Why don't I get on my bike and ride? Ready? riding around the track with a six-year-old grandson. You got me! Go, go, go! Pedal, pedal! Those are moments that they're just so precious that it makes it easy. And Anne Gleave, along with her husband, has lost 40 pounds. I feel so much better. And gained, she hopes, Maybe when time. With time with her family and time with her number one cheerleader. Pedal, pedal! I remember when I was 20, I used to think, well, if we live 30 years together, that'll be a long time, we'll be old, it'll be okay. But now that I'm 50, 60, it's, I'm not ready. <laughs> I'll stay healthy.